Welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Papa TV Live. We're coming to you tonight from the super secret bunker beneath the blue blinking light. I'm Pete Hendricks. I'm joined in the booth tonight by Priyanka Koshar and Colin Dundies. How are you two doing this evening? Great. Fantastic. And on tonight's episode of Papa TV Live, we will be celebrating the end of a great TV series. So who is your favorite character in the Big Bang Theory? What? <laughs> pass? Yeah, pass. Double pass. Well, we thought about doing the uh, Big Bang Theory tribute show, doing Big Bang Bar and Galaxy, but then we realized we don't own a Big Bang Bar, so we called an audible and we're going with Game of Thrones, the show that I've never seen. How about you guys? Big fan. Yep. <laughs> yeah, been watching, following it. So any questions about the show? These two will be... Uh, Helping you out? Any questions about the pinball? These two will be helping you out. Dragon questions. Uh, bow sounds? That's me. <laughs> Tonight we'll be doing uh, head-to-head matchups, and our first head-to-head is going to be Chris Stevens ag- against Jake Kolajacek. <laughs> <Jake. laughs> so, Game of Thrones, it's a uh, stern title. Um, it was one of the popular ones when it came out. Uh, there's b- both a standard and a limited edition, and we have or premium edition. We have the premium edition with the play field, upper play field. And the first big decision that Chris needs to make is what house is he playing? I'm gonna go with green because that's my favorite color. Okay. Each of the houses has a benefit. House Tyrell increases your combo multipliers. Now, this game has been set up for uh, replay effects, so it is very difficult. It has lightning (laughs) flippers, no ball save. (laughs) So these games could go quick. Yeah. So do you like the upper play field on this one? I played most Game of Thrones without the upper play field. (sighs) Yeah, I, I have as well. I'm... Uh, not too versed in it. Um, I know there's a time you want it's the hel- it helps you with your modes, and there's an extra multi ball with it, but I don't know all the intricacies of it. Good. Chris with a quick first ball, and now Jake's up. And which route are you going to go, Jake? I'm going to try Martell. That assumes I might make it as far as getting a multi ball in this game, which is not really a given. Okay, Martell's a popular choice because it lets you add a ball during multi ball one time. It's only if you remember to hit the button, though. I've seen people forget to hit the button. And uh, with no ball saves for the uh, multi balls, it could go so quick that um, you never even get that chance. Yeah. Just like that. Yippee. You got to account for the lightning flippers on this one. (laughs) I let the ball go down the center a couple times, forgetting. Chris did make some progress. He ha- shows the value of taking uh, Tyrell, $39 million. Yeah. What's that, uh, two shots, I think? Yeah. Hey, I'll take it. I've, uh, I've played this game a lot for competition the way that it's currently set up, and it usually eats me alive. It's, uh, <laughs> it's really challenging. Um, I always pick Tyrell for head-to-head just because, like I said, it's quick, easy points, and you might only have enough time to hit one shot before you lose the ball. So, uh, you know, trying to take a shot on the fly, it's very dangerous. But uh, if you can can catch it coming out of these pops, that's huge. Bad. Okay, phew, we're okay. And then even hitting the center ramp, like right now my heart's beating very fast. So, like, you you know that everything's dangerous whenever that happens. Yeah, so the center ramp, is you use it for locks and uh, mode starts. And it also helps you get progress towards starting Lannister. Okay, now Chris chose to pass there. Because I wanted Lannister. So now he has eight, three center shots, light Lannister. So now he's got both houses running. So Tyrell, that's the um, lock targets, right? Yeah. And then Lannister is the post um, lock targets here. And the posts uh, are Lannister that are these guys. Five posts. 
which are really easy to hit when you're not trying to shoot for them. Of course, but whenever you need to, they're <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> All right, he's got his... Get up there! Nice That's dog catch. One <laughs> nice thing about the, uh, that feed, if it doesn't make it, it's usually pretty safe. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, I have been tricked before. All right, so Chris has the two modes going with his multi ball here. He's in a black suit multi ball during this. Black suit? Black suit. Uh, what are we talking about? Black water. <laughs> this is not Spider Man, even though it might be Chris's favorite game. With the, with the, with the way these universes cross, I mean, uh, Spider Man may show up in the finale. You know, you don't know anything. You're right, I don't. Oh, no. Get up there. <laughs> I've watched uh, two HBO series yes. regularly Fraggle Rock and Hung. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say Sopranos. Nope. <laughs> Which, that's another great pinball machine we should play. Because it has a talking fish. That's the only reason. <laughs> I suggest that as a joke, too, saying that we were going to do the game from a great HBO series. Uh, and then popping out Sopranos instead of Ow. this. But <laughs> no. I Ow. just always want to quote the fish and nobody understands what I'm saying. That was a really good ball. Went from 30, what, 39 mil to 234. Yep. Okay, now Jake has made no progress, but. But at least I can't get to the upper play field either. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good game to practice bouncing and control because, um, oh. as you can see, there's a lot of shots, there's a lot of posts, so if things don't um, go exactly how you want, it could be deadly. Flipper passing as well. Um, on if with regular flippers, you can make that center shot with both the left and the right. It's a lot harder with the lightning flippers. So also, this is a good game for backhanding shots as well. Oh, yeah. Backhanding the left spinner is one of my favorite things to do. Um, maybe not on this premium. I tend to uh, backhand the sword ramp. I think I tried it in practice and I on this one, I only got like one. So I'm a little bit nervous to try to backhand that sword ramp. <laughs> this is really, <laughs> this is, is a real I duel. Like <laughs> Each of the players has their favorite house, and I'll be honest, I have no idea what any of these houses are. What's my house again? Tyrell. No. No, his favorite house. Green. Yes. <laughs> Windlands. House Wildlings. <laughs> well, it's not really a house, but it is a people. That's all I want. I feel like I just wanted a free folk. Yeah. You you could learn a lot from them, Chris. Well, we have winter coming and winter gone. If he can complete four no, the winter that's not what I wanted. is coming, hurry ups. He'll get to the win winter is here, Molly Ball. Usually when I see people play this game, um, oh. they only pick Martel or Tyrell. Um, I haven't seen many people choose other houses. Great Joy was popular at the beginning as well because you could get the uh, Martell ability with it. Oh, yeah, that's the one you can steal other um, oh, that's houses' bad. abilities. Right. Yeah, if you're planning on playing a long game, Great Joy definitely seems like a solid choice. But the other three houses, House Stark, it increases your value during Winter is Coming. House Baratheon advances towards Battle for the Wall, Maldi Ball, and House Lannister earns oh more gold. Boy. We just don't see them picked very often. Because nobody really buys anything, honestly. But I guess you could. You could buy stuff. If only you could buy a ball saber. You gotta talk to Papa about that. <laughs> okay, Papa. We have more winners coming. Mm. <laughs> That's a good sign. Ah. Zombies are coming! Chris showing uh. how he is ready for wars with dragons. <laughs> he said he was going to play for a really long time. That, that is a <laughs> really long time on this game. <laughs> <laughs> is there a reason why you short plunge, Jake? Uh, well, I, was, I wasn't getting into the upper play field from the plunge. 
It's like I'm real hard. You have to pull nerfed, it back yeah. pretty far. Um, and so then it was just like, let me try to get the ball to somewhere where I have a chance at having control for just a second. Wow. That didn't kill me. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah. In Game of Thrones, you just Come die. On. All right, he's got a second lock. Needs one more hit to the green targets on the right there. There it is. <laughs> and by <laughs> getting the third shot, third lock here, this will light his uh, land of stir. Oh, you! Or he'll brick it like a champ and come to the broadcast booth. Shake hands. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris <laughs> hangs on for the win, and now Colin will. Hey, my first up to Papa TV win. We didn't see any multi ball. All right, who's next? We didn't see many houses, but good match. Good match. I want to see more upper playfield stuff. Um, okay. Let me show you. I don't. I don't think I've seen like uh, upper playfield. Game of Thrones in the wild. Now, ah, Chris says, this game is buggy every once in a while, and it will lock in your house. I wanted Stark. So yeah, he is stuck with Stark. In a, in a tournament setting, this would be a restart because uh, getting to choose your house is very important. But because this is Papa TV and because Chris is a uh, top, what, 30 player in the world, yeah, he's going to have to deal with ah. this disadvantage. That's uh, why... You mentioned at replay Game of Thrones, at least this one will be set to novice mode. So we don't have to deal with it locking in a house and everyone getting upset. Now, because it, it messed with Chris, I think we should be able to pick Colin's house. <laughs> That's fair. Colin, Greyjoy. Mm, the choice is uh, you are Greyjoy. Producer is Colin. Purple is now your color. I can pull off purple. So. You can plunder rival abilities, but you have to defeat the house first. And he doesn't, he has to light a house first. And, compl and completing the houses is more complicated. Like um, like we saw with Tyrell, it's uh, three shots, three green shots, and three shots of the lock targets. It'll be purple shots as well if he would start that house. That he would need to make to complete it. Oh, house clever. Do they exist anymore? Spoiler. It's not a spoiler. Oh. Danny Glover does. <laughs> yeah. Wait, was Danny Glover... Is he on a pinball machine? Woo. Yes, but I'm um, mind lead. blanking on what. Get it. Is he on Lethal Weapon? That w yeah, there you go. That's Lethal it. Weapon 3. That's it. Pinball party and the uh, YouTube chat saying, "Hey Chris, show me what you can score." Sure. Um, <laughs> he he can did. score another seven hundred thousand points. Um, Pansy thirty nine says, "Is the winner is coming worth it going for Stark?" It is increases it, it so I mean it. If that's the strategy you want to go, sure, but. I don't really know that many people that want to go to that strategy. One thing hopefully that we'll get to see tonight is Hand of the King. That comes when you uh, finish four houses. It's a multi ball, and depending on which houses you finish, there's benefits or disadvantages. So we're going to take the glass off then? <laughs> no, Chris got, Chris got there in <laughs> practice, so it can be done. All right. All right. There, there are no spoilers, Virginia. <laughs> Virginia's in the chat asking if there are Game of Thrones spoilers. There aren't any, I promise. I'll give you a spoiler. I'm going to lose. Oh. And uh, Colin's going to drain. That's my favorite mode, is Martell, because it's orbit shots. They're <laughs> very Man, large that. shots to take. All right. Um, I am losing. Barn burner, 8 to 1. Yeah. Oh. 
try it, Stark. The Stark could be good points there if you're accurate. Yeah, if, if you're accurate. <laughs> During Stark, uh, each of the, the two white uh, shielded ramps uh, build up your value. And then when it gets to a certain point, you can cash out with the uh, left loop that you can see now that it's lit. So right now you can get 23 million for it. Or you can keep going. Or I can Easter. double it. Where'd oh, my yeah. ball go? <coughs> it's in... Is it stuck? The castle. I the dragon an, I ate adult. it. Is it? Oh, All right, wait. Wait. Let it ball say... Or er, uh, ball search. Should I hold my flipper up? Yeah, why not? I think it's up here somewhere. I it's probably underneath the... Oh, oh got, there it, it is. It. it was in the lane. All it needed was the uh, glorious right hand of the king right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he got it, because <laughs> the way I was going to get it was... There was going to be war. No. Ah! Tessier says you break it, you buy it. Oh, I know, I'm not breaking it. I mean, how much is it, though, first off? <laughs> Nah, that's bad. Oh, that's even worse. Goodbye. <laughs> he called it. Now, uh, uh, one thing there, you saw him hitting the uh, action button. Uh, when you're not Martell, it gets you a small amount of points, but you can only do it after making a shot. But in a close game, that million point... Uh, Chris says it cashes out your multiplier. Does it matter what house? Oh, Any but anyone Martell. but Martel. All right, Colin's in so a mode again, and he has uh, his lock lit, but he's going up top. To I see he made a shot up there, and he got five seconds, and then another five. Now, he, that far left shot on the upper play field is lit. If he can get that, he'll collect a house and get right there, 15 million. I'm not sure what collecting the houses actually does for you outside of the points, but. That was my next question. It does what? Bonus. Bonus, Chris says. Oh. I don't know, if Lewis is in the chat, please help. <laughs> oh, there, again, the bonus was seven and a half million. It's going to be close. <laughs> That's not But Chris good. survives, and <laughs> now Priyanka's up. Okay. Oh, wow. How you want to play? For score? <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> Produce, uh, Producer James has insisted that uh, Chris plays Lannister. I need more gold. I use gold all the time, James. Uh, I was listening, uh, flipping through the stations, and some talk show said with the uh, market falling the last few days, gold is a good investment. Oh, there so. you go. Boom. Oh, Papa TV, you get pinball and finance tips. Give me that gold. 30 points. Don't give me that outland. Oh, it's a pretty backhand into the lock targets. I'll take it. So called back into the chat, and how was your experience? Um, it was sure something. Uh, <laughs> we at least <laughs> accomplished uh, the minimal amount to, you know, get a mode started. Yeah. But I think we both could do better. One other thing that you'll see in this game every so often is a mention to wildfire. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what wildfire is in terms of the show, but it builds up your uh, multi ball jackpot. So it's a good thing to have. In my world, wildfire is a horse. <laughs> I don't get it. It's a country music song. Just keep playing. <laughs> that explains it. All right, Chris got two houses Ow! going and... <laughs> So is there ever a point where you want to collect Iron Bank other than as your ball is draining? 
Am I allowed to choose a house? Yes. Yeah, you're the you're the challenger. You can choose whatever house you want. That's a pretty cool shirt you have on there. What? Thank you. It's what is it? Papa sixteen. Nice. I I found it. It's a dragon. She's killing the dra dragon. I think. No. She might be. They're hanging out. <laughs> Dragons make good friends. I like that. All right. Yeah, she's a challenger. Oh, no. That's that's yeah, one that's switch. It. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. I heard you guys asking if it's worth cashing out your iron or your what is it, your multiplier, iron bank. your iron, it's bank iron bank outside of draining a ball, and I would say yes, because let's say you want to aim for that right orbit. If you're aiming for that right orbit. As it's blinking, as the arrow is blinking red, that means it's going to be a combo, right? So it's multiplied. But if you aim for that orbit while it's a combo, it will come all the way around. And that's dangerous. If you shoot for that and it stays in the pops and you can come back and collect it, that's good. So what I would do is I would basically backhand this, come back here, aim for that orbit, hurry up and hit my iron back. That, that kills the multiplier, so it feeds the pops. Hmm. Okay. Or let's say you're playing uh, the pro model where there is no upper play field. And to advance towards wall multi-ball, you need to collect the in-lanes up top. Um, you can use it to make sure it doesn't go all the way around the orbits, because if you hit the left one, it should come all the way around as well. Hmm. Or maybe not the left one, but definitely the right one. If it's a combo, it will come all the way around, and that's banned. Let me give a quick shout-out to Michael Lalonde in the chat for knowing or taking the time to look up that Wildfire is a Michael Martin Murphy song. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You don't need to know who that is either, but he's right. <laughs> It was actually one of David Letterman's favorite songs. <sighs> Look, Chris is into the Blackwater Maldi Ball. You want to hit each of the uh, standard shots once, and then that'll light the battering ram for a super jackpot. For time super jackpots. Oh, yes. Just one. Get as many as you can. Oh, jeez. Wow. But with no ball saber. Or a minimal ball saber. Uh, Chris is in an interesting. That's a that's an awesome cradle right there. One one ball on the upper play field, one ball on the lower, lower play field. He's got to stage this flip. No. Oh boy. Be good. Be gentle. Behave. He got a good mystery award there. Light play field multiplier. If he wanted. He could shoot the battering ram and double his play field. And you can um, get up to a 5x play field based on uh, shots in the game. Um, I didn't score anything. That's okay. What's on the what's uh, what's lit? right oh, ramp there, you'll Glorious. see something called swords, and that's what collecting swords help you get to the higher play field multiplier. Big points. Alright, Chris is up top and he's back out. <laughs> Jared in chat asks, what are a couple ways to light the extra ball? Uh pop bumper awards. That's one. Houses. Yeah, There's if you complete a number of houses, right? Oh jeez. Come on now, settle down, game. There's uh, some way to do it with gold as well. But yeah, there oh are my. multiple extra balls Ow. in the game. Well, in a normal game. Right. In our game, there is how many extra balls? None. Zero. <laughs> zero point zero. Oh, come on. Right, Chris is getting some good ball time here. Uh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> Give me the house. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Give me them points. What's okay. that worth? Anybody, can anyone? You're hitting it too quick to see an anna. Uh, you're just building point. up the, the value. You have uh, uh, your house Lannister shots. Are, there what? you go. 
Five points. 48. But combos are such a very important part of this game. Yeah, it's like if, if you time out, if you cradle too long, you basically lose your shot multipliers. Right now I got 4x on the middle. So we're going to hit that. Oh, no. Big points. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of, my, uh, one of the mystery awards in this game is big points, and it's a million. In a, in a game that uh, you can get up uh, a really good games, billions, a million just doesn't feel like big points. Big points. What's that? 128 million. Wow. Actual big points. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> and then you, get, then you get the mystery one, because 128 is not enough. Right now, I want to combo this just like that for 65 million. All right, and the 291 million points in that mode. And he collected a sword. I love swords. Oh. Yeah, you, you got a house, so there's. Well, we won't. Yeah. 121 million in bonus. Wow. On this machine. Hit one thing, maybe. Thank you, everyone, for watching tonight. Coming up later tonight, we got some dragon because that was kind of cool. <laughs> uh, supposedly, Game of Thrones deals with dragons, so thought it was a good fit. This game rewards accuracy. Yeah, but with pinball games, it doesn't reward accuracy. Okay. This record, this machine punishes inaccuracy. <laughs> Let's say it that way. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty accurate with the right out lane. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ooh. that was weird. All right, so right. Priyanka came back and beat me on Tron, so no, no mercy. Right. <laughs> we, got, we have to score more points. That's a good strategy. I like it. <laughs> let's do that. Right. How, so about, you got how two about two more houses? Two more houses. All right, let's let's get Stark going here. Actually, well, he, was, he was pretty far along on Wall too. I think he's got. Uh, he also got a mystery award lit. That might be fun to see. All right, throw the ball up in the chair. He's collected all that gold. And for you, good time. Okay, charge it. awards you one of that guy's. Not worth it. I'd rather keep it going. Okay, um. So you could spend spend your no. gold there for certain things. No. and uh. Oh, boy. I mean, it may help you in the game, but that's less gold for your bonus. And <laughs> as soon as I did it. As soon as I did it. <laughs> All right. 682, a very good game there. Yeah. So if I plunge it and not hit any switches, I'll get it back? Yeah. What? Don't li you will get it back. <laughs> You're getting bad get data from your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was right. There are some uh, switches that you can hit as well and um, not validate the play field, but... The left out lane is not one of them. What would those switches be? I believe the slings? Possibly. I'm not sure what all of them are. Nice nudge there. All right, she's got a lock lit. Two houses, one ball away from multi ball. There's some potential here. Right. 
Has this game ever gotten the uh, color uh, treatment yet? This one might look really good. I bet. I bet it would be great. Oh, oh no. Ah. Chris moves on to 3 0. Congratulations. That is a great score. Minister. Happy Mother's <laughs> Day, Mom. <laughs> All right, now Petey's going to go up and challenge Chris. I want a rematch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to do that again. <laughs> All right, what's my, uh, who am I going to be? Anybody. Nobody's um, played Baratheon yet. Baratheon. Yeah, that's the only one. All righty. I'm going for wall multiball. I only need four more shots. That ain't gonna work. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, we gotta take those. Alright, so to get well multi ball, Chris has got to uh, survive. Shoot that. Blue shot, the shot with the blue shield. Uh, that one right there, yeah. What, five times? Four! Oh. That shot which we have not seen him yet achieve. I'm feeling, I'm getting he's, the feel he's for it. it. This is it. Yeah, I'm getting he's, the feel he's, for he it. knows where the gold targets are now, so he's just got to. I, got, I found the other gold target. It's okay. It's there okay. All right. There it is. Nope. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it didn't go <laughs> Wait, all the way through. I think there's one more way it you can not get it. It tries to Come on. <laughs> wrong, wrong reference. Oh. 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 I definitely misjudged that like three Good times. Good shot. Good try, though. <laughs> A for effort. Picked his strat. Stuck with it. <laughs> Sometimes when you're out drinking and you have uh, games that involve choosing things, that's a fun thing to do too. Just shut your eyes, hit the flippers, and stop somewhere. Should be a, is there should be like a random house thing like a house roulette. Yeah. Yeah. Is what, on pirates? Could you like, yeah, there, just pick there, a random character? Yeah, there is character? a there's a way to do a random select on pirates. Right. What if we scored points first, just to make <laughs> sure we can beat Petey, and then we'll go for the fun <laughs> stuff? No, don't do that. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> well, multi ball has plenty of points. You've in had it. enough ah. points. <laughs> I mean, oh. you know, you did light the other lock and all that flailing around before, so you can go for that now. I can. I'm allowed. W will we permit it? All yeah, right, Jake yeah. said all it. Right. I, I got it. Now, if I flail into another lock, I'm taking the multi ball. But you have to concentrate on, sh on oh, that's all I'm gonna building do wall in multi ball. Yeah, all right. Hey. All right. That's and a good move. three. It's a really hard shot. And rotate. Two. Okay. Two. Ah! Oh, he's got his What's up now. with that? Oh, come oh. on. Those lightning flips makes the hole in the middle get bigger. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of center drains. One thing we haven't talked about is the wall multi ball. You see Chris shooting that hard shot there. On the pro, it's the. Uh, yeah, it's ridiculously uh, easy to get in the pro, and <laughs> it's crazy hard to get in the premium. Jared asks in the chat, what pinball machine should Papa or should uh, Papa have Bowen do a tutorial for now? 
What? It's true. Yeah, I don't think that's... Bowen's uh, Patreon yeah. followers. Follow him on Patreon, and then you can let him know. What is there not a good tutorial for right now? Honestly, there's so many out there. <laughs> Winter is coming. No pressure, though. Lots of pressure. <laughs> My flowers are worried about the winter coming. <laughs> nice. On the fly. He's an on the fly guy. It's, it's the way PD does it's it. It's not recommended, but it's working <laughs> for me. So. <laughs> Targets are good. Stand up targets over there. Wow. What? That was cool. Wait, wait what's, what's happening here? I know. Petey's cradled during multi ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's maybe a first. <laughs> Strange body substitution has happened here, and uh, yeah, right. <laughs> now it's up in the upper play field again. And now it's not. The one thing on this game is the light show always makes my eyes <laughs> yeah. tear. If you're like playing this in a dark room, it's really hard to see what's oh, going Katie's on. He's got supers lit. That's it. Shoot them right oh, into oh, each oh, other oh, like a champ. Gather Shoot the super. Oh no! <laughs> now can you bring can you bring uh, house modes into wall multi wall? All right. I do not know the answer to that. Oh, let's look. I've got Petey's notes. Well, it just tells you how to get to battle for the wall multi ball. What are you looking for? If you can take a mode into Battle for the Wall. Let's find out. Oh, you've got Targaryen. There you go. It says Wall Multiball ready. Shoot right, right or left. Yeah. Now it's in there. <laughs> They're through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Is my ball save already gone? Uh, yes, your ball oh, save great. is already gone. Wow. And a bunch of your... Oh, wait, now it's giving you something back. up there. Uh-oh. Uh Just like that. All that work. Well, he's still in his mode, Targaryen. Yeah. <laughs> ten. <laughs> and only <laughs> ten more shots to get wall multi-ball again. <laughs> Let's see it. See what? <laughs> the ten, 10 more shots to get your next wall multi ball. I want to see you get that castle. Uh, he's done with black water. We shouldn't have given him permission to do yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was aiming for the <laughs> ramp, I swear. <laughs> Oh, 
Seriously, that light show is just as bad as Stroh Multi Ball. <laughs> Except there's no so ball save at the end of it. <laughs> it's like all of it. All of the lights. <gasps> Dethroned. DD1. Wow. <laughs> Only right, because we gave Chris progressively harder and harder no. objectives until <laughs> finally we killed him. <laughs> Right there. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna change the mode? And is that gonna happen? <laughs> so PD's doing something. What is he doing? making the game a little different. Oh. Uh, Chris is back in the mic. Hello, everybody. And what we have Pete doing here is he is going to be changing the settings to this Game of Thrones so that it forces you to play as Stark. I want to be t I want to be Ty... No. You cannot... It's, it's broken. But it's not. So this is <laughs> casual play. So basically, it selects Stark automatically, and it automatically has Greyjoy lit. And you cannot pass if you shoot the center ramp. He's going to let that go because he's at zero. So what you can do is you can aim for the other shots to light different modes. But if you have only one mode lit, you cannot pass. You shall not pass. There's a lot of references in this game. <laughs> Oh. All right, let's see who who uh, Jake's gonna pick. What are you gonna do? Yep, it's Stark. Uh oh. I guess I'm playing Stark too. So Stark is completed, <coughs> and then uh, Greyjoy is now lit. So if, you're, uh, oh. if you are planning on playing in Pinburg, uh, it'll be worth noting that we will have this likely in casual mode. Yes, this will basically be be set up the way that you see it being played right now. Mean, difficult, fun, challenging. <laughs> Do you know how many shots there are? Oh, well, now Lock we can see five shots Greyjoy. for Greyjoy. Yes, you need to hit every single shot one time. Oh. He tried to make the save on that one. Outlanes are open. These outlanes are taking everything. All right, Pete. So you have to weigh your options. On ball one, I was trying to get a second mode going so that I can do two at once, but being that ball one was a complete dud, now I need to... Change it up. Probably take Greyjoy as soon as I can get it, get that lock, and start working to the next steps. Go towards that multi-ball. Now, um, for those of you that are unfamiliar with the uh, premium and limited edition models that we have here, it has that upper play field. Uh, if you notice, if you hard plunge it, it will go up to the basically the scoop that feeds the upper play field. But what you can do is keep in mind that once per ball, it will automatically go from the plunger lane to that upper shot. So what you can do is, let's say you short plunge. If you, if you lock a ball and it doesn't have virtual locks, you can soft plunge again or you can fire it hard to go in, into the scoop up to the top. But that only happens once per ball. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting way to try to set up a specific shot. Like if you have a shot that you want to aim for on the left flipper, you can then fire it up into that. Let it don't even flip when it's up on the upper play field, and then let it come down to your left flipper and make a shot. That was a nice in lane there. So uh, we got Winterfell burns right now. Oh, oh. and that was uh, straight <laughs> down the middle. This game definitely makes you like choose wisely, like what. Yeah, you was gonna like sitting it. on the couch by the time that ball came back down to the floor. Yeah, for <laughs> real. 
All right, so th so supposedly there's some hard plunge that goes up. To oh my goodness! That's oh the yeah. First time I've been up there. Yeah, if you oh, if you plunge it hard I enough, it goes up did there. Not make any. If you do a normal plunge and you think it goes up there, be ready because it might not fall in the scoop, the uh, the vuck, the vertical up kicker, and it might feed to the left orbit coming down towards your left flipper. So uh, pay attention. So is there a multi ball like regarding the upper play field? Yes, uh, basically it's a it's like a castle multi ball, I believe. You have to. Uh, basically go progress through th four separate um, progressions I guess uh, on the upper play field um, I think like one's arrows charge I can't read the other ones but basically um, if you're able to progress up there then it starts a uh, like a switch hit multi ball which uh, is really great to uh, kind of get to a point where you can advance other things in my opinion uh, it's not that much it's not that worthy of a multi-ball, um, mm -hmm. but every single switch scores points, and uh, it, every single switch also adds points. So it, I think it caps at maybe 250,000 a switch. So if you can uh, keep drilling that left orbit to keep moving that spinner, you can get some good points out of it. But, uh, I mean, the values are nothing compared to what you can get from, like, a multiplied, uh, a fully multiplied shot with uh, a playfield multiplier running. So... At the end of uh, Jake's ball, he had, like, all of his shots for his mode except for that, uh, Oy. oh, no, that Targaryen shot. He tilted. Could he have uh, gotten that shot through the upper play field? Uh, I believe you can. I, I think you you can uh, earn yourself a shot by hitting some of the targets on the upper play field, as well as basically earning the house. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but uh, if you hit the targets on the top and uh, then you hit that little weird orbit loop shot on the top left uh, it gi that's what gives you your houses for bonus and, and bonus can be really really big it can be very very big as you saw I think on the one game where I put up a high score you, I got um, about uh, 122,000 <laughs> points for really 122 that million epic. sorry and, uh, and and that's I mean that's bonus that's gonna be big stuff so why did I get the ball back there? You got the ball back because you cleared the drop targets on the left. Which, you had uh, the and, and then one millisecond and later, it immediately, went the lane. immediately yeah. went towards a lit <laughs> outline. It's called the Lord of Light. Yeah. Love it. That was exciting. Holy cow. What's this? That's House Lannister. Juju Battle. No, no. Good job. So would you always go for two at a time if they were lit? Uh, it depends. For the most part, you would say yes, especially going into a multi-ball such as this. You but let's, get them yeah, but let's say uh, if you're trying to play for big points during um, for Hand of the King, which is whenever you complete four modes, uh, the way that the, that mode works is whichever four modes you complete, it will basically uh, create how that mode plays out. So you don't actually want to complete Martell because that forces you to hit every single shot twice. But there are some good modes that you want to complete that will be beneficial like towards Hand of the King. I think the uh, the magical four I like to aim for are uh, Stark, Greyjoy, Tyrell, and Lannister. Those are the four I really like. And uh, I actually was given the uh, the lovely transcript here. Positive oh. houses. So these are the positive houses. Greyjoy gives you one less set to reach the hurry up. Tyrell adds 15 million points to the super jackpot. Lannister gives you plus 125 million added to the hurry up. House Targaryen gives you plus 750,000 points per shot. House Stark gives you 20 seconds of free time after completing a set. Those are the positives. The two ones you don't want to get would be Baratheon and Martell. Baratheon gives you seven shots to complete instead of four, and Martell is every single shot must be completed twice. So uh, with that, Jake wins. Pete now joins us in the booth, and we've got Priyanka set up to challenge Jake. Well, Priyanka was here. saying she wanted to get back out there and win, so. Now you got to earn it. So, Jake, what house are you choose? Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. So I don't is, is Stark a good house in the show? Uh, I They're don't know. Cool. They're cool. They're tough. But my <laughs> uh, Colin, do you do you watch it? I do. I do. So what do you think about Stark? Uh, uh, yeah, nay. Good stuff. Um, they're all right. They're okay. Yeah. All right. Was that a good choice to lock in? <laughs> <He's> <laughs> Make right you have to play. 
Um, I don't think there's too much of an advantage. I don't think uh, when players have a choice that they often choose Stark, um, it, it advances, I believe, the values of Winter is Coming, but that's not usually a strategy players are going to go for willingly. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like, if, if a novice stepped up to a game that was set up like this, uh, would they be excited if they were Stark? A, a, a great, a big fan of the show they, and they just playing like, the game because it's Game of Thrones. I could see people picking it being the uh, sort of protagonist house, but if you start uh, the winner is coming, uh, it might turn a, a player off based off of the... Uh, Obnoxious flashing lights that you'll see. <laughs> yes, uh, it, I was about to say. I usually try to avoid winter is coming as much as I can. Thankfully, it's pretty decently lit inside our lovely uh, hidden bunker here. But, uh, but sometimes I've played this game in like a, uh, a rather shady bar, if you will, and, and you you can't see anything, and everyone looks over your way and is wondering whenever like you're going to just close your eyes and wear sunglasses. That is the nice thing about our ah, bunker, ooh. though. Even if winter does come, we won't know it. Yeah, we're not gonna know. Unless the blue like light turns into a red light, then maybe. <laughs> well, Priyanka has the lead. She was able to uh, start a mode, I believe, and uh, she actually made a couple shots. Um, Jake currently has the upper play field ready to uh, complete the first set of tasks, which is for arrows. There he goes. He completes it. So now the tricky thing is now there's a drop target in front of the right ramp that feeds the upper play field. So now uh, he has to worry about this drop target. Now, if um, like I had the drop target up, and then when I started the mode, it went down. Yes. But during a mode, you cannot advance towards that castle multi ball. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what happens whenever you aim for the lock. Yep. It's dangerous. But it's, it's, it's needed. It's dangerous. <laughs> I've, I've actually played this game. The last time I played this game, the way it's been set up was in uh, Vegas for the pin golf tournament after the state championships uh, a couple years ago. I remember that. And mm -hmm. and basically, ball one, I caught it. I post-passed. I hit the lock shot. I lost the ball. Ball two, I plunged it. I caught it. I shot the ramp. I locked the ball. I passed. I post-passed. I, I hit the light lock targets. I lost the ball. And so on and so forth until I lost the ball on ball three by lighting lock number three. And it's extremely frustrating. Yeah. Um, they use it for pin golf as well, and the goal was two hundred and fifty million. It, it's Ooh. difficult. Yeah, it, it really makes you choose um, the house you want to choose. Now, it would be interesting if the goal was two hundred and fifty million, but it was on casual play, because that would force you to start with Stark and then have Stark completed, and and then start with Greyjoy being lit already. So the uh, the points in, in Winterfell is coming or whatever this is. Winterfell burning. Winterfell burns. Um, the points here you mainly earn by uh, comboing shots. So right now she has every single shot except for the right ramp lit uh, as a multiplier. They're all 3x. But those blinking red arrows will eventually go away. And they're about to blink, 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 and they're gone. So now all of a sudden every single shot is a 1x. So that's why I tend to kind of avoid playing on the upper play field because I, I like aim, I like making shots and then comboing and then building up that shot multiplier. That's how I got that big score on Lannister because I had, uh, I think, 4x running on all of my shots. If you have nothing going, the upper play field's good. That's 7.5 million for finishing a house. That's good bonus, but... Yeah, it's definitely a good bonus. But if you're in, in within combos... Stick below. Yeah, especially if, if you select uh, the uh, Tyrell house, if it's not on casual play, that basically means that every time you go down a lit in lane that's uh, blinking yellow, that creates the next shot a as a 3x uh, comboed shot. It's not a play field multiplied shot. It's a combo shot. So uh, I like to use that where, let's say, I have an important shot lit on the left orbit. I'll actually, from the right flipper, shoot the center ramp to collect my in lane to light the 3x on the left orbit. So that's, that's fun to play around with. And uh, meanwhile, Priyanka is just rolling right now. She's got her out lanes lit for a ball save. She's got a multi-ball started. She's got 4x combos right now. She's adding seconds to her modes. She's gathering gold. Oh, she's still that's got one, one thing shot left. Enough thing about casual mode you're one mode closer to uh hand of the king yes uh, that's that's definitely true 
So Priyanka has she's completed one. She still has she still has she has Greyjoy complete, and now she can complete uh, Lannister if she hits a couple more shots. She, so right now her uh, her Lannister shots are huge. You might not want to cradle here, not trying to jinx her or anything, but now all of a sudden her um, her shot multipliers are down. Got a sword collected, and she's up top. That would have been a huge shot had she been able to shoot that while her shot multiplier, her combo multiplier was lit on the right ramp. So right there, I love I love that decision. She shot the center ramp, got her combo up, hit a shot, 22 million. Big points. All right, she's got three completed. So if she can light and complete one more house, that will light Hand of the King on the center ramp. Do you want pressure, Priyanka? No. I'm gonna even call. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call this even before it comes up in the chat. Jared Stevens wants you to shoot the extra ball. Oh, I figured. It, it's gonna come. So it's, just it's gonna happen. Just play. Just play. Okay, there it is. Wait, is it? Give is us it, our animation. Gonna, oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, it did not go. It, it did not catch. stick. It, it didn't catch. That's what I mean. Sometimes that orbit's kind of tricky. Oh boy, that's gonna scream. Nice. nice Good shot. control. I was I was having some trouble on that uh, that orbit as well, or even backhanding that ramp. Oh, they're nice. Winner is coming. Wow, for really million. fast play. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. oh she saw that coming and tried to be proactive, but this game, the way that it is set up, it just just walk away like Pete did. You know, it's so difficult. But I mean, she's got 185 billion with a ball in hand yeah. over Jake. He's got a lot of work to do. Well, and when you have the tilts to play with and you can see that shot coming, oh, you yeah. make the effort. You, you make the effort. Although she did have a, a castle in her bonus, so you got to be kind of careful about that. I mean, having the lead that she has maybe isn't... Oh, that one was almost uh, up and over. <laughs> that one scared me. Oh, <laughs> the battering <laughs> ram straight down the middle. That was the drop Put those target. elbows down so we can see that drop score. Target. Look at that. Oh, that was the drop target. That the drop see, target. that drop target's dangerous. It's uh, I usually like it from a backhand, but hey, the forehand, I, I like uh, I like the risk. <laughs> <laughs> you got the drop target. So, Priyanka with the... Uh, all right, we've got someone in the chat asking, uh, Cinch, Cinch Dank Soul from uh, YouTube is asking, can we have a bit more game audio in the mix? Uh, producer, what do you think? Can we, uh, can we provide that for our lovely audience? All right, Priyanka, we still need that. Uh, we still have to hit that extra ball shot. What's Baratheon again? Baratheon? That's the, you have to complete That's the, the yellow. drops. Yeah, yeah, you have to complete them three times. And ha they have to be in a row, by the way. So, yeah. If I were you, I would just uh, hit the right orbit to collect the extra ball and then col and then try to light Martell. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the right orbit, isn't it? Yes. So they're both in your one away. So, yeah, that's your best shot that, right that's, now. That's your money right now, Priyanka. Let's get paid. Oh, boy. Come on, get it, get it. Nice. Yeah, beautiful. Now you get a lock lit. Get some wildfire, get some gold. I was going to say, oh, that, that was risky, <laughs> but. Excellent nudging, Priyanka. Ooh, wow. Excellent. Oh, gee. Oh, <laughs> and God. get in there, get in there. Does she it, earned it. it. She no, earned no, it. No, it didn't. No. It still, Again? It still gave her, it gave her the, uh, no, it's gone. Uh, I was going to say, it, it gave her. <laughs> <laughs> and she collects the pity 1.5. I was fi fighting it. You, you fought that very, very hard. Well done, well done. And now? All right, do we have one more competitor? Colin's going to take his turn. Colin's up. On novice mode. Or casual mode. And uh, Priyanka, the reigning champ, is going to start it. All right, Priyanka, you're going to have to play a Stark, okay? Oh. oh, I know. Okay, that's fine. Heartbreaking. All right, so uh, Jake now joins us in the booth. Uh, hey, Jake, that was uh, a mighty fine game of uh, Game of Thrones Priyanka just had. What do you think? Yeah, <laughs> I think so, too. Uh, this Game of Thrones Yeah, <laughs> it's so capable. Even when you win, you, you feel like, like you lost. so bad at pinball. <laughs> I like how... If you were to set this up even remotely easier, 
the length of the game just extends exponentially, yeah. in my opinion. No, I think that's true. Like the only way that they can not have every group, Get that start. every round of Pinburg held up by some group playing Game of Thrones is to do this. I'm not sure how much <laughs> more we can do to it. I think we've done every outside of pop pulling off flippers is about all we yeah, have left to do. I mean, it's got lightning flippers on it. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted to be that guy, you can put a tighter tilt on. Yeah, it, no tilt please, warnings. And please <laughs> don't do that. You yeah. need you need to be moving this machine. Right. I want it to be challenging but fair. Well, and you can get the first Lord of Life all save on one, one completion. One completion. That's true. Targets. That's fair. You know. He already has his lit, which is nice, and some excellent outlane saves. He got that back into the in lane. Tail by the lights there yeah. and there. The live, you know, live catching on this is perfectly reasonable. So if, you Do know, you? There's no flipper hop or anything else, right? I mean, you know, count your blessings. <laughs> count your blessings as you <laughs> count your bonus. <laughs> I like uh, Colin's strategy here whenever he gets the feed from the... Uh, the Ooh, the pop bumpers. He actually uh, lets it dead bounce over to the other flipper. Yeah. Or, I mean, it kind of slows it down. That kind of just rainbowed right back over. But uh, for me, I, I don't. I can't trust it. It makes me way too nervous. Now you notice. Like, watch. Here we go. Oh, oh see, he uh, didn't trust uh, it. He didn't trust it. But he's still alive. <laughs> you talked him out of it. I did. Now he's working on getting uh, a second house lit. He's the first one to try this. He's trying to get to the Martell. It seems. I was trying. Oh. It just didn't work for me. <laughs> See, anytime I have the ball <laughs> trapped on a right flipper, I'm backhand to that Stark ramp. No matter what. But on in, even in this case? Oh, even in, even in this case. I Because you get the that sword. Stark, the the ramp sword is so hard, It though. increases your multiplier. Oh. Like, that's what I yeah, want. Yeah, Chris talking about the sword there. That's important. Got to get that sword. It's lit at the start of your game on casual play because it completes the Stark mode. And basically, if you play, if you press start on the game and you have no house is complete, then I think the 3x is the maximum for your shot combo multiplier. But for every sword you collect, it lets you, it increases your ceiling. So if you collect this first sword, then you the maximum you can get is a 4x. If you uh, complete three more um, houses and you collect three more swords, then your maximum would then be 6x. So it, it kind of it kind of makes you want to aim for it. And uh, that's that's definitely one one thing I try to keep in mind as I'm playing. Not only do I want to try to keep my cradling down to a minimum, but I want to make sure that I'm making combos, collecting my swords, and uh, if it's lit, hitting the ram for a playfield multiplier. One other thing, um, the display tells you which shots are nice lit save. for combos nice right save. now. She has the and they timed out left and. The well, well the left in the middle were at three x. Yeah, so you can tell by the uh, the display. Like right there, one, 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 or you can tell by the blinking uh, red lights that are above all the lit colored shields on all of the uh, the shots. But that only tells you which ones are basically active for a shot multiplier. Like you can't continuously hit the center ramp over and over and over again and have it be 4x, 4x, 4x. Because once you hit it one time, it then turns off the shot combo and forces you to aim for something else if you would like to. Oh, right. these outlanes, I'm telling you. She actually got some good ball time in there. She she made a bunch of saves, fought with it again, made some good shots. But uh, there weren't a lot of points in play because there just weren't, there wasn't the opportunity to to get to a mode and uh, and light some shots. So let's see what uh, Colin can get. I think Colin's one away from Martel. Let's see if he sticks with that strategy. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Martel will still be there when he finishes this uh, great joy. Oh. When he finishes. Yeah. <laughs> the bank has collected. Um, uh, cinch, cinch Dank Soul in the uh, YouTube chat says uh, it maxes at 40x or 35. Can't remember. You're, you're absolutely right. It's, it's somewhere north of 30. And, uh, yes, mentioning uh, Robert Gagnon in Vancouver, able to keep it rolling for quite some time. It's it's a beautiful thing. It's very challenging, but once you get it going, you really want to shoot and keep it going. All right, so she uh, Priyanka has the lead here. Chance to pull away.
In games that allow you to do that, being patient to get the feed that you want is important. Adam's family and this, if it isn't quite the feed you want and it's not hitting anything, let it go and try again. All right, so we've got uh, Priyanka starting her Winterfell Burns. This is the Greyjoy mode. She needs to hit all six shots. Uh, she currently already has three or two of one, two, three. I can't There's really five count. Shots five shots total. Yeah, she's, she's got <laughs> three complete right now. Nice. All she has is the right ramp. This would be a big multiplied shot if she can hit it. 3x and bam. bam. So it's a 3x light bringer and a 3x mode shot, which brings her gray joy total to 155 the million. Of the lock. So now she starts a mode and goes into her Blackwater multi-ball. So if she can use this multi-ball to finish this move, she'll be one away. I'm very excited. That's a big 4x combo. I think everyone's excited for Colin. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that might be true. But Colin's a good team player. You know he's kind of rooting for her as well. Ooh. All right, so... She's going to be out of the multi-ball because we have a ridiculously brutal ball save time on here of nothing. It was only for this multi-ball. The wall had a pretty good ball. It didn't. Yeah. It, 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 was, it, it was, might it have, was. but it was. It felt like it was gone before you know it. Yeah. All right. It Priyanka just took is going to end. <laughs> 220 million. All right, Colin. Let's see what Colin can do here. The magic of his house. What's Colin's house? I don't, I don't remember. Um... Stark? <laughs> no, I mean, what's his? What did, what's what your did, what favorite house? Oh, house Glover. Glover, like Danny. That works. I'm getting too old for this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's almost the quote, but I'll take it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Since we're nearing the end, do we point out the Easter egg? The, the Easter egg that you planted. Oh. The, the one that what uh, that I planted? Yeah. Oh man, it's it's a little bit hidden, but uh, I mean, if you if you look hard enough. But I have the yeah. arrows. Yes. If you look hard enough, you'll All see. Right, uh, yeah, yeah, we need the producer to pull the uh, Collins title. Yeah, can we get the Papa logo out of the way there real quick? Oh, mm. oh who's that? <laughs> I would be frowning too if a wolf was biting me. Aw. Oh. <laughs> 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 I kind of like having it hidden there. All right, are we gonna do one more? Do I get does Priyanka get to play against me one more time? I I, I got a yes. All right, all right. I, I will be right back. This is a battle for the title of Game of Thrones champion. I'm warmed up now. I got points. All right, so Priyanka, which house are you going with? <laughs> Your house. <laughs> Going to your house, PD. You, you got 30 points already, so it was a good choice. I don't know what I did there. I think something got activated. <laughs> okay. All right. So any predictions on how this game's going to go? I predict Priyanka should not count on the uh, playfield activation given those 30 points. Well, her score was still blinking, so she was fine. Oh, uh, is it? Right. Yeah. I predict six outlane drains. Seven X bonus. Wow. I'm just flailing. But you're living. Yeah. Priyanka, Virginia says you can come to our house, but the basement's a little bit dusty. <laughs> Thank you, Virginia. I like your collection of cats. <laughs> is TX Sector still there? Uh, no, TX Sector is here. <laughs> it is going to be, unless something changes, it's in one of the banks that... Uh, Pinberg. Oh, come on. Strike. 
dragon's not giving me any luck. I think it timed out. Yep. Chris looks worried. <laughs> right, she needs two more shots to finish the Greyjoy mode. There's the third lock. That's not what I'm. Okay. Now that actually, I uh, was wondering if, if she was going to try to hurry the lock there while the mode was running or let the mode end so she has a full timer again and, and because extra balls not let it's gonna stick this time. Yep. What? So you can keep your gold, you can increase your wall jackpot, or you can take some arrows. Alright, now she's got the Martell lit as well. Got the third lock lit. This could get good. Whoa. She collected a little more gold. There and there it is. Wait, uh. Four, three. You want to make sure you get two of them. I know. <laughs> I wanted to finish one. Okay, taking Greyjoy in with Maldi Ball makes sense because the same jackpot shots are your Greyjoy shots. If you finish one, you essentially finish the other. Well, since you started it before, uh, it's not quite the same. But wow. <laughs> I wasn't ready for it. All right, so her Greyjoy is finished. Little glass ball there. That sometimes frustrates me. You only get one uh, ball save on the out lane when you use it during a oh. Maldi ball. Oh, oh, oh. She gets the ball add. From the pops. It's a, add a ball from as a random reward from the pop humpers. All right. Yeah, she got that extra lane. ball lit again. Still, 39 million in black water. 388 on ball one. It's a Game of Thrones game that's going to look like a... We, uh, we may have to let Chris pick his house this time. <laughs> as long as he picks Stark. She's in her fourth mode here. Go inside your thing. One of these got a stick. Come on, get in there. Okay, there's the first lock. And she needs to hit some of these gold targets to light shots for her mode. There we go. No, that's all right, though. That was a great first ball. Damn. Swords are lit. <laughs> All right, no pressure, right? Thank you to Huckweed and the uh, Twitch chat. Calling Priyanka a pinball wizardress. If I ever had the name of sword, I don't know if I'd call it needle. It just doesn't sound threatening. It was You've a never skinny little been stabbed sword. with a needle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jared. Um, we do have Twitch. We are simulcasting on both YouTube and Twitch each and every week right now. So if you're 
out somewhere where you have Twitch and you don't have YouTube or the other way around, you can still see Papa TV. So, Chris, you're dropping it off the upper play field without uh, shooting at that target? Yes, because if I hit that target and then I go inside the back there where I hit in between the targets, it's uh -huh. going to pop up that uh, drop target. And uh, thanks for making me talk and cradle up. So now I lost my shot multiplier. Get it awesome. back. All right. <laughs> thanks for your help. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks again, Hookweed, for the 10 bits. Bitties. Oh. All right, let's we do love this anyway. bits. Okay. Oh. Right, loop is just rough. Like, like there's a uh, something that's catching the ball and keeping it from going straight or something. It's tough. I don't know why it's so difficult. Oh, I thought I'd, I do have Martell. Though. Okay. It's always harder to judge when you're firing a uh, far left or far right shot with a lightning flipper. That's true. That's very true. I didn't even think of that. But it feels so good when you hit it. Especially on the fly. Like that. Come on. No! All right. So Chris needs some orbits for Martell. 41 million for that one. And then a no. 1 million from the mystery. Nice nudge there. Get control. Get him! Martell is finished. How many points? 41. Take it. Ball two lock. Ball two lock. Joy still running. He needs three. Make that two. Make that one. Oh, wait. Not yet, Big Bird. Come on, we'll get there. All right, now Chris has been get perfect. Ice. And he collects ice. So he's got three houses done too. A huge mode there, 200 and some million. And here's our. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! <laughs> By the power of Gengar. Oh boy. It's dangerous. Okay. Nice nudging oh, oh there. No. Oh no. All right. Chris has one away from Hand of the King. Let's see if he can start another mode here. And oh no, boy. That's not what I wanted. Winter is coming. Always seems to come up at the time when you least want it. All right, here's his fourth mode. That winter is coming was worth shooting at with the multiplier. And he's got multi ball going. This yeah. should be good. Because the gold targets light shots, and invariably he's going to miss shots and hit those. So That's the plan. Thunder, <laughs> Thunderstruck during multi ball. It's the Oath Keeper. Oh, that is beautiful. See these hit like the left side stand ups eight times in a row, just reflexing back and forth off of them. <laughs> yeah, it's He's got that backhand down. Adds five more seconds. Two shots to go. Collects the house. Ooh. That was a mean drain, but he's still in great shape. Because the mode will be lit. He has two more balls to finish it. All right. Now we have a contest. First to hand of the king. Yeah, they're both they're both in it. They both have Lannister ready. Um, the extra ball, in, as in the case of tournament games, is points. I think it's 15 million for this game. This is a great way to finish this game up tonight. So back down, good control. And she takes it from the left flipper yeah, and nails I, it. I, I could not that. get that backhand, and she's just got it so reliable. That one should stick. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> is that points? 
And 150 gold from the mystery. And she gets in a wall advance as well. Dangerous. Yeah. Come on, get to her flipper. Get to her flipper. There's, there's. Good. Not many points, but it's progress. She has four shots to go. Okay, there's a lock. Another shot. She's run away from Molly Ball again. You can see she has two shots lit. She's going for the Molly Ball. I agree with oh. this. Now the mode timed out, but the progress will carry over. So if she shoots the center ramp, she'll just start back over. Two shots to go. That's ah. Dan. Mm. Uh, she's coming. We may have a hand of the king off. Who can have a better hand? So what were you going here, or trying to do there, Chris? Just get control, or? Just control, yeah. Okay. I freaked a little. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Center okay. ramp, right orbit. Rock and roll. Center ramp. Control. Get in there. Yeah, the backhand of the right orbit is tough, but this is a good feed. Not for me. It was a good feed. You just missed. There's nice. the right orbit. Nice light shot. And Ooh, now you can look see at that animation. <laughs> one big blinking light. There it is. End of and the Chris king. followed the arrow. <sighs> so each of the modes that you finished gives you some benefit or disadvantage during Hand of the King. And you can see them as they go across the screen. And each shot needs to be completed twice because Martell was one of the houses used to get to this point. Hurry up is right now is forty million. But I mean just getting to this point unless you have a uh, horrendous multi ball, it's good points. There's so much lit. Needs two sets of the uh, oh, shots as well. Damn. with great control here. All right, hit the battering ram. Bam. Now because uh, Stark was chosen for me, it's three shots for 20 seconds. Uh, since he completed his first set. These points are adding up. And back to the second set. <laughs> 374 million points of hand. Well done. So get now, now his next objective is to finish the last three houses and get to the Iron Throne. All right, let's do this. What do we need? Everything? Great. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just need the dangerous ones. You could go for the castle wall. You're only three away from wall. wall. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not falling for that one again. <laughs> <laughs> but to, uh, to get the uh, Iron Throne, you're going to need it, so... Now, I've seen some people play this game where they build up their uh, spinner value and then do nothing but shoot spinners. The spinners can get really juicy on this. Um, 
Yeah, you can uh, stage the flippers on the upper play field. Uh, Sink think so. Thousand points. Oh boy. Big points up there. Ah, nice. Oh. oh. I was so surprised I saved it. <laughs> <sighs> 113 in bonus. 1.1 billion. <laughs> I only have like one shot left, right? Uh, I think you're, you have two left. Um, well, we can. I think. Yeah, take a look in the the instant info. See if it's in there. I don't, I don't think it's going to be in there. You have one shot left, but you can also hit one of these gold targets to light one of the easier shots because you have to hit the Targaryen right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't tell you what you need to finish it, just how many you need to start it. Right. So Yeah. Okay. Now, um, this game has uh, unique... Yeah, you hit nothing, hit you're anything. fine. Uh, unique feature... Well, it's not so unique anymore, but which ho whichever house you pick has a high score with it. So, these two are fighting for the Stark high score, and it also has a traditional high score table. Sorry. I think on some of these modern machines, the Vanity Awards are getting a little out of control. I got an award on Iron Maiden the other day for the most balls resurrected. Well, it's that's like a good. Really? I mean, it's. <laughs> I suppose it's a sign that I did something ooh, right. Nice. <laughs> All right, she's got double play field going. Good nudging, keeping that alive. Three more to wall. All right. Got on the right flipper. There we go. So she'll have Maldi Ball going. And Lannister going. Hopefully through this Maldi Ball, <laughs> we'll finish it. We'll finish Lannister. I mean, imagine the gold targets will get hit. Just yeah. a matter of hitting the right shots. Being real smart there, keeping one on a flipper. Wow. Oh, get up there. She's one shot away, there and that's is. the one. She has her hand lit. Wise decision there. Oh, oh the one, one time. Yeah. Bad feed from the middle. Great game by Priyanka. She did everything right there in the end. Just didn't hit that last shot clean. Whew. Oh, she's good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can breathe easy now, I Chris. Can, uh, I can rest easy now. I'm uh, actually two away from Castle, so let's play up top, shall we? Okay, you can see that um, he's got, got two of those... Inserts completed, and to complete them, you have to complete all the lit arrows and then go out the back, which he did. Uh -huh. Now he has one set to go. Nice save. You have to complete all the lit arrows and hit one of those two switches. You can rattle it in there and relight it and get the next level without having without coming back down. That's good skill. Okay, one done. I mean, it's a little bit weird ah. up there. I mean, you've been playing with lightning flippers at the bottom yeah. this whole game, and up there there's regular there flippers. Regular flippers. Really large up. regular flippers, yeah. No, oh. no! Ah, <laughs> uh, now, oh. now he, has, uh, he can't do anything else until this time's out, so he's going uh, to watch. Yeah, that's, that's 
brilliant play there. Just shoot that left loop, brilliant. get it back under control. Till this time's out. Stop. Do it again. Perfect. Get down. Get down. Oh, one more time. One more. Uh, eh. Oh, I'm so bad with this from the right flipper. Told you. The left flipper, whatever. <laughs> All, right. All right. Here we go. And he's finished the fourth set, and we have... No ball save. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> With his castle multi ball. Shoot the castle dragon shots, the super jackpot, which is <laughs> through the. Oh. oh, that was very brief but exciting. Yes. You can go back and uh, watch all that and see what was supposed to happen. <laughs> but great games by Chris and Priyanka to finish this up. And now it's time to get ready to change games over. Mm. Upcoming broadcasts next week, Indiana Jones, the Williams version, and Pharaoh. May 28th, Stern NBA and Ice Fever in honor of all the great playoffs that are going on. Um, for May 21st, the reason we picked Indiana Jones and Pharaoh is it is the 35th anniversary of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. And Pharaoh, it's kind of like got a temple feel to it. NBA and Ice Fever for the sports playoffs that going on. They won out over the racing games. Yay, and sports. <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny Mnemonic and Spectrum on June 4th. Um we thought we had the code update for Spectrum, but when we tested it out, it was the same code. So we uh, <laughs> sent the stick back to the makers, and hopefully we'll get the revised version that we've been asking for. But, um, while they're changing over, we'll take a moment here to talk to Priyanka about that last game of Game of Thrones. You played uh, excellent. Chris put up a... I uh, never played go up for the backhand, but since I kept on nailing it, then I was just like, oh, well. It's, it's, if, uh, if it didn't have lightning flippers, you could like hold the flipper up and pass it over. But on this one, since it has l lightning flippers, if you try it, it will go down the middle. So now, then it's like... Now, sure. having to play that as in that, in that way with the uh, settings... Did it make you change how you wanted to play it, being used to not having or having getting to choose your houses and things like that? Yeah, I think it made it weirdly easier for me because I was thinking about modes last. I was just, it was very straightforward. It's like start a mode, mode shots, like a typical game versus like when I choose m like a mode on the other way, I would be like thinking too hard about like, do I want Martell? Do I want... Tyrell, what do I want? And then uh, remembering, uh, remembering what that house lets you do. Like you know, if you're at Martell, you have to be aware of the in lanes. Versus if you're playing Martell, you need to make sure you hit the action button only on certain parts. Yeah, so so sometimes when you're playing pinball, it's so easy to overthink things, overplan things. Uh, when the decisions are made for you, sometimes it makes the game a lot easier to play yeah i was just able like i was just focusing on surviving and making <laughs> all the shots and then you guys were telling me what i had to shoot for and then i just did that <laughs> and i guess it it was great i just really wanted hand of the king i was too close <laughs> almost there i mean even without getting there that was a remarkable game and chris's was as well yeah he uh we used to work at a pinball like arcade before and then he's always been beating me August 1st through the 4th, Replay FX. Thousands of pinball games, or well, thousands of games, including pinball, video games, console games. Uh, chance to watch the Pinberg Tournament Finals with over $100,000 in prize money. Cosplay competitions, they are taking entries for that now. You can get that information out the Replay FX website. Live music. Uh, so there have been great bands there, and I'm sure we'll have some great ones again this year. 
uh, attendance, attendees from 15 countries, well, tons of countries, people from all over the world. Bring your friends, bring your friends' friends, come out, have a great time at Replay FX. If you can't find something that you enjoy, there's something wrong with you. Okay, maybe not, but there's something for everyone. Little kids can uh, get their face painted and play in bouncy houses. Big kids can play arcade games from the past. It's well worth it. Now we turn to Interflip Dragon and the bow game. It's so beautiful. If you haven't seen like this game before, uh, the play fields are usually held up pretty well because um, the way they made this game. Do you know how they made it, PD? It's like good. It's like a plastic play field or something, so there's yeah. nowhere to it. Um, you can't even tell it's like super old. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? He's just punching off balls. Punching this is balls. fine. Yeah. Down, I mean, he could just hit the start button, but Look I... Look at that. That's, you're going to see him <laughs> That's a, a that, nice preview. Me. Now, what makes this game interesting is it's called Dragon, and you can see the five dragons here that you can shoot and knock down. But if you're playing this game for points, if you're hitting those dragons, you're, you are doing it wrong. All right, get some better arrows here. Point them out. Here are your... Oops. Can you see that? No. Nope. Okay. Yeah, why didn't you get even darker? What? All right, what, what are we playing for points or dragons? Maybe the pink. Uh, we'll start out with points. All right. Um, do you want to hear a strategy or do you want to just... There we go. Along? Hang on, we're pointing to the dragons. There we Little go. Little of our dragons. <laughs> Bow. Bow. <laughs> okay, look good. Faces. It's, it's awesome the way they look on the playfield. And if you look really closely at one of the dragons, it has a Doug Polka face on it. Really? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure one is going to be frowning by the end of the game. Okay, so what do you want to do, Chris? I'm going to try to hit that five right there to light that pop bumper and then not flip. But so Chris did exactly what you want to do. <laughs> the points in this game are the pop bumpers. The one will light the left <laughs> one. The three will light the middle one. The five will light the, light the right one. And then you just want to keep shooting up the lanes through the pop bumpers. <laughs> Hope that uh, you don't hit the dragon in the back of the head on the way down. Also to uh, of note is the lanes just end. And if you let the ball roll up the flipper, it will go down. <laughs> So we're live catching on this game, er, or drop catching because he can. Oh, <laughs> hello, that was Tilda's. <laughs> the many warlock saying <laughs> right. the game with the most Careful annoying that. sound in the world. Yay! We wow. like it here. I think it's endearing. It, it it's it's supposed to say, no. "Bow." Yeah. I think it sounds like a cow. <laughs> I like it. After this week's episode of uh, Game of Thrones, all the dragons will be dead anyway. So. Virginia said no spoilers, PD. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we played one of these games at uh, at Super Electric, and the the bower was broke, and I thought we should just get one of those little moo cow cans. Yeah, and put it inside. You flip over and moo, and the person sitting next to you would just have to do it every time. And they, uh, is this like a five-headed dragon, or is it one dragon? Or like single dragons. I can't. Remember. That's a good question. It's well, it's I called dragon, not dragons. So you may have a point. It's yeah, but it kind of looks like a hydra. A hydra, yeah. And I've been they playing been too much Black Knight, so. On their, uh, on their mythology. A little unclear. <laughs> So neither player with a great start, but still lots of dragons to kill. Uh, so uh, does anyone in the chat know of other interflip games with the plastic playfields? They usually, if you see one, you know. Artwork's beautiful looking on it, and it's always shiny. I don't. I wish other people thought like, hey, let's make a plastic playfield. <laughs> but I'm sure people didn't think we'd be playing yeah. these games. What, Dragons. 30, 40 years after they're made? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, um, before you plunge, Chris, what's the year on this game? I think it's in that right underneath the inner flip uh, logo there in the middle of the play field. Is it 70-something? 70 77? 
Uh, it says 25. Okay. So I know it's on there somewhere, but. It's on there somewhere. Let's take a quick look. Uh, I just see Rafino Gonzalez, 25, Madrid, Spain. <laughs> uh, Dragon. 2173, a little bit in the future. That's yeah, okay. I, I, don't, I don't see it anywhere. Let me just plunge and walk away, all right, Pete? Here we go. Oh, nice plunge. Yes, thank you. He's got the three. He's got the middle pop bumper. So how many points was that dragon? That was not a lot, but that's my 10,000 in bonus. How much was that? Yeah, I think the dragons are 5,000 and add to your bonus. Uh-oh. Oh. No. That is the why you cannot let it roll up the flipper. Thanks to Demented Warlock and Dale Stevens in each of the chats, both uh, Twitch and YouTube, answering 1977. That's my thought. Doesn't That's look insane. that old. It's brand know. new. The, pl the condition of the play field. Yeah, a 42-year-old game. This Remarkable condition. I'm jealous of her eyelashes. I don't know if you can see them on the plastic. Um, within like the last five years or so, there was someone that found two of these uh, <laughs> in box and they converted them into Penguins game, Pittsburgh Penguin games. Oh, yeah, I saw right. that. I saw a picture yeah. of that and shed a tear. Come on, lip pops. Show me some love. Instead of bow, it says goal. Mm, I don't like that. Gone. Oh, okay. So, Jim and <laughs> everyone was like looking at the inside of this game earlier to kind of look at the sound. <laughs> what is it? Like the system to maybe turn it up or down. And we were like playing with it. And it, as you turn the volume down, it sounded oh, like a lamb. On. <laughs> it was like, bah. <laughs> yeah, we had played one of these uh, Andy Rosa and up in Michigan, and his <laughs> sounded like a dragon on that was helio. A good save. Uh, the game says it was not a nice save. But this is like technically an EM, and it's like using like a like digital sound, which yeah, is pretty interesting. I think this machine has some really weird combination of EM and not EM. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because typically this game would have chimes. If you looked at it, you're like, oh, that game has chimes. And it doesn't, because then right. it makes this weird, great, but also awful and terrifying sound. <laughs> <laughs> Which we did not witness. <laughs> and Chris with the... All Woo! right. Who wants to go knock Chris off his perch? Yeah, yeah. I Bow think again. Colin's volunteering. Uh. Mermaid I'll take the captured. next one. <laughs> Bow again. <laughs> yeah, Jared Cool Dude 34. We will be doing Indiana, the Williams wow. Indiana Jones next week in honor of the 35th anniversary of Temple of Doom. I just watched that movie the other day for Mother's Day. <laughs> no joke. It's so you'll be well versed in uh, I'll, I'll, talking about I'll it. I'll tell you all about it. Stuff happens. Wait, which one? Which Indiana Jones? Temple, temple of, Doom. of Doom. Oh. There's a temple and there's a sword of doom. A sword? I think I blacked that one out. There you go. Oh. Get up, hit that pop bumper for me. Come on. So, I've been watching him nail these dragons, and it seems like those orbit rollovers light depending on how many dragons you have. That is correct. Oh. If he hits that last one, he'll have all five rollovers lit. But yeah, they're, they're worth 100 points, not lit, or 1,000 wind lit. Or you can hit a pop bumper yeah. that's 10,000. <laughs> I didn't want to tilt. Good decision. So <laughs> so what you're saying, PD, is the <laughs> pop bumpers are the strategy? Are we yeah. shooting for dragons? No. No, no this isn't the dragon. Well, yet. well he's, uh, do you want to turn into the dragon off? Yeah. He's not up five to nothing. First ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He got all five. You want to start. <laughs> so go. you would think after you hit Chris all the dragons, you'd hit that center, <laughs> that center part, and the dragons oh. will come back up. Oh, that is the dragons actually do not reset unless you lose the ball. So you could get a max <laughs> of five dragons <laughs> per ball. Are so we going for dragons? Yeah, you're playing for both now. <laughs> oh. I am in the lead for both. So I have a question. <laughs> 
Well, you don't say. Yes, Priyanka. Is, would the power ball not be powerful enough to hit the dragons down? Oh, it would. It'd oh, be it fast. These are some strong flippers. Are you suggesting what I'm thinking? I'm suggesting? not. No. I'm just curious. You know, it's Nick funny. Because yeah. Nick Jacquet, like, literally just walked I in just to this area. And, like, and hmm. like, suddenly we're all, like, Powerball with there dragon. should be a Powerball. He's leaving. Yeah, he was leaving to get a Powerball. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, Chris didn't make us change our score there. That's nice of him. Yeah. You know, don't have to erase anything. Where did that come oh. from? Was it on the ground? Uh, Nick rolled it in. <laughs> Not this game, but maybe later. We'll leave it up to okay. producer James. It's heavy in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but Don't sit heavy. on it. I feel powerful. <laughs> Power chair. In oh. two weeks, it'll be uh, Stern score? NBA and What's Ice the Fever. Score? You're up 5-1. to one. Nice. Ooh, Ice Fever. <laughs> Might have to bring yes, some air cops. horns and. Oh no no no! Fred should definitely show up for That's Ice Fever oh. Day. I'm gonna give a quick shout out to Fred who isn't here tonight. He's making his way out to New York with a bunch of games for the New York tournament. Good luck to everyone participating in the New York Pinball Championships this weekend. If you see Fred, be nice to him. Tell him hey. Are we allowed to know what he's oh. taking? Ooh, we're up to five to two. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know, that's going to be so much <laughs> worse with the nice Powerball. <laughs> he's going to come back. Oh, there we me. go. Wow. <laughs> Producer. I heard wow and I heard Jim wow. Jim with the beautiful graphic. <laughs> it's also cutting off your hair. <laughs> <laughs> What's important, though? So when you look at it, there's like three lanes at the left, three lanes on the right. If the ball comes like towards the middle if, when it's coming down and just grazes a dragon, it will redirect it to the middle. Yes. Yeah, the dragons are all not your friend. Eight to two. So Colin cannot catch up this ball. There's no way to reset the dragons, which is kind of sad. So and then also, if it hits those lane, um. Was it lane guides? If it hits them just a certain way, uh, it will pop the ball over into the middle as well. So. Yeah, the scariest oh. thing is the ball rolling off the back of the dragon's head. 8-5. Eight, or 8-4. Eight, What's yeah. the score? 8-4. to four. So if I get one, he has to knock them all down to tie me. Is this ball five? Yes, sir. Mm. All right. It's a close game of points, though. So if I can just hit two, I'll beat him in dragons. <laughs> I'll beat him in bow. No. Deep stop diving in the ch in the uh, YouTube chat. I actually have this pin in my collection. Oh, I've disabled the pop bumper points. Why would you do that? Uh, I'm make intrigued it go for now. Bail. I'm curious. Then what are the scores like? Can you get oh. Can you get a big score on that? Uh, oh yes, you can. Oh, that's gone. With no pop pop mm -hmm. bumpers. It would be interesting to think Come about. Yeah. Making the pop bumper worth a thousand instead of ten thousand. Yeah. Because then all of a sudden, this would be a very different game. Yeah, you'd five thousand. You'd be thinking about a dragon. taking those dragons, and trying to get the orbits lit. Because they would be worth. So you're saying equivalent. we should, b before playing this, we should have waited for the. Uh, the software update. The software update. Yeah, I think the software update mm -hmm. might be doing some very soldering. Very nice. Chris with another win, and now Priyanka Ooh. can go and attempt to get her revenge. Who is it? Priyanka. Oh, God. <laughs> now I got to score like 900,000 points and 20 dragons. <laughs> Wait, where are we? Okay, we're still in the points? No, you're going for both. You're going for both. We have to go for both. How many dragons did I get total that one? 11. All right, deal. 11, good number. I like it. Two ones. Let's go. Dragon time. I mean, this is one like when you're playing with with friends. This is something that you can do oh, to, to make pops, the baby. make uh. the game more fun. No. Um, ooh, nice dig there. It's, you don't always have to play for points. You can make ridiculous <sighs> goals like the number of dragons or or keep going. On, listening. on Game of Thrones, uh, who can Ow. get the most wall completions or things like that. Oh, 
man. Oh, oh. This is yeah. this whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he stuck his hand up there to try to catch it. And, <laughs> I almost got it. But I mean, there, he lit all three pop bumpers, 273,000. points there. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think you were going for dragons. His his first ball almost beat Collins' whole last game because the pop bumpers are just bumpers so valuable. This is why I, I like games like this. It makes me not want to play control, which I really <laughs> struggle with. It helps me work on my flow game. How many dragons she get? Two. All right, so we're tied? Yep. <laughs> oh, the scoreboard right there? Down. Uh, down. Other way? Down. Turn? Yeah. The, That'll yeah. work. Almost. <laughs> the, the scoreboard is under the uh, scary dude's head. Am I the scary dude? <laughs> if we move it. Oh. All right. Not a lot of bonus in this game either. No. <laughs> not much reason not to tell. I got tangled. Dragon tail. I think that uh, on some of these games it does like to tilt through, so that might be the incentive yeah, not right. to make a big move. I see Priyanka smacking the game there, trying to get more pop bumper action. Ugh. I thought it would roll down, and it didn't. Yeah, yeah. sometimes it will hit that post and go, that but it just didn't. Bounce too, that one didn't cooperate as it should. Can we tie it again? Yep. Well, let's look at the scoreboard. Yep. <laughs> 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 I love Tuesday nights. This is so much fun. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Bow. Uh, okay. Uh, listen, uh, flipper sign. Oh. Now, if you're a headphone player, would you take your headphones out just yes. to listen to this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> You might not have to. <laughs> Deep Stop Diving saying double-headed dragon is a fun way to play as well. So what is double-headed? Three dragons. There's more dragon. I guess I assume that means split flipper, but... That's what I'm assuming too. We'll, we'll let him answer. I'm intrigued. We got nothing but time. And a fireball. Nothing but more dragons. <laughs> And control. Oh, oh, oh nice. Now you see, uh, since she got all five specials lit somewhere, you might have a light out or, or it might just rotate on and off in the middle there, but. Nice. Dig. And you were right, Jake. It is split flipper. Nice oh. ball. So she takes the dragon lead, but she's trailing in points. So how do we decide the winner if they split? Uh -oh. <laughs> how do we decide the winner? You got to wait till the end of the game and the producer makes the call. Yep. Oh, I lost. In a split decision, <laughs> the judges. A split, a completely <laughs> unanimous decision. <laughs> All right. Uh, we turn to the judges where the third one is Chuck Norris. Oh, I'm getting that thumbs up. <laughs> Nice. Five thousand points. I can't hit dragons. <laughs> but you can score points. It's impressive right. how you skipped all the dragons and then got it in there. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't even. How is that I possible? I did not believe that was possible. So Priyanka, you just need points. 
Well, she can still win the, the most dragons in the night. They're currently oh, at 11. So she gets true. the 9. One dragon. All right. So Priyanka has 10 dragons. Nine. Is that the game? No, it's not the game. No. You thought it? Oh, so you're saying there's a <laughs> chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is it? Uh, looks like it's six to nine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? That's really nice. Good job. Uh, Track. <laughs> We give James a hard time, but he really does do good work for oh us. Oh, man, fantastic. Yeah. I can't hear myself. Can some plug me in? Oh, help Chris. Me, help me. Chris is I can't, I can't. All right, so I'm going to aim for these five dragons. Uh-huh. And it's the ball's going to go here. <laughs> <laughs> good plan. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> he doesn't need those puff bumpers. He only needs dragons. No, he might need them. I might need them. You never Oh, know. well. So Priyanka has the dragons won. Now see if she can get the points. But dragons. <laughs> get Where the are my dragons? You've already won. Oh, wait. You're, you, Chris had 11 is the most. You're two away from the most. Right. Well, what should I do then? Whatever well, you, you want. clearly should beat him in points first. Yeah. And then All right. beat him in dragons. Jiminy Crickets. Uh, Nick in background hold, holding up another power ball. Because I guess we don't have enough of them. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and we will go to our producer. Who is the winner of the game? Was it dragons or points? And the decision goes <laughs> to Priyanka with her nine <laughs> dragons. All right. Now Petey's going to go up. And we'll see whether... Uh, What's happening? Complete flow play. Uh-oh. He's got okay. the keys out. What's going to happen now? What could possibly go wrong here? Do you want to go first? No. All right, we're going to welcome Chris to the booth. Hello, everybody. I'm done slaying dragons for the night, I believe. Uh-oh. <sighs> Are we swapping out for the Powerball? Yeah. Oh, my soul. More Powerball. All right, so... Uh, is it Nick versus Petey? Is that what I'm seeing? Petey versus Petey? Okay, how about, uh, let's try. Oh, that's it. I was way off. Use your lights. Use your lights. Yay! <laughs> All right. Uh, you got one player in right now. You got one player in right now. We do. Two? We have two. I can't see the two. You Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. Add a third, please. Uh -oh. And a fourth. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. This is the. F uh, I can't handle. This is too many people. It's too many people. Can we fit that many dragons? I wonder who's gonna play. Uh -oh. Whoa! Hello there, Nick and James. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> With a power. <laughs> With oh the no! It didn't bow. The, the did power. It? it didn't. It didn't bow. Therefore, I award you no points or dragons. So if a dragon doesn't bow, do you get points for no. it? No. Okay, yes, because Priyanka got one. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be weird. Wow. And I'm so happy. To not be up there? Yes. Oh, 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 that's gone. You, you could have <laughs> saved that and tilted. If he had nudged, if he had nudged while it was on the side of the dragon, could he have gotten it? Um, Deep Stop Diving from the YouTube chat says, This is the only Interflip game I've ever played. Are there any other cool titles from Interflip? Yes. There are some amazing titles, such as... What was that? I can't hear you. Space Race. Space Race uh -oh. is an interflip. Yeah. Um, is Monaco... Mon is Monaco interflip, or is it Sagasa? I think Monaco is Sagasa. All right, what about uh, Prospector? Uh, oh, Poker Plus? That might be an interflip. Mm -hmm. Is, uh, Dude, Nick got three. Oh, oh, butterfly? Butterfly, butterfly might be Interflip or Sagasa. They're both the same in my eyes. They're both beautiful. They're both fun to play. Three right. tricks. Producer James is calling his... He already pointed to the... Uh, the oh, there's one. Nope, there's one. There's two. Oh, there's some wow. points. Oh, oh that, 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 that happens all the time. 
He got two. He needs the. We need uh, someone to yes. do this. Uh, Butterfly Sega Sonic. That's it. Sega Sonic is what I kept thinking of. Ah, uh, right. Seems like they had the same uh, playfield technology, though. Yes. They had the technology. Priyanka is just bricking a lot of dragons here. Oh, there you me. go. More. Oh boy. It seems like it's always safer whenever they're down. Oh, Ooh. we got a moonwalker. I knew that was going to happen with three. the fireball. Uh, faces, yes. That's another good one from uh, Sagasa. Is that how you say that? Name? Sega Sonic. I keep saying Sega. I don't know why. I, I'm just. It's good stuff. Wow. Uh, there's another one. All right. On the board, Pete. Now keep going. Wow. <laughs> oh, there's two. Oh, nope, that's gone. Oh, oh, what a save! Oh no, his he's losing his hat. He's he's fighting dragon. Oh. So oh, that's a tilt. <laughs> Is there an extra ball in Enterflip Dragon? Uh, that's what Jared Cole 34 says in the Twitch chat. And yes, there is. It's actually the special can give you an extra ball. Uh, unfortunately, I think the uh, special is turned off on this uh, Papa uh, Papa Dragon. Don't worry, you're going to get those dragons. But uh, it's actually a, a decent strategy to just go for the dragons, to light the special to collect the extra ball. Dragons all day. Dragons all day. Is, is Nick having fun with the power ball? Nick is <laughs> instantly regretting it. Came for the power ball, stayed for the bow. Uh, there, oh, man. James is that was a bad flip slaying. Though. I believe James is now up to four. Four dragons. All right, Priyanka. Okay, at the start of ball three, we got Priyanka with three, Nick with three, Pete with two, and James with four. And Nick is in the lead on score. Four score. And seven flips ago. Uh, uh, oh, wow. Priyanka with two quick dragons. That was two shots, two dragons down. She's fast. now up to five. Two, three, four, five on the board. <laughs> Petey steps up. So wait, you're, sp you're supposed to point at the scoreboard? No, 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 no. Uh, point up on the on the right. player cam. Oh, wrong scoreboard, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, punished for being you smart. Could have saved it. A Petey's player too. So now uh, Nick is up. He's got ninety-four thousand points and uh, three dragons. The producer's good, but not that great. He's Nick, Nick uh, how, how are you feeling about the Powerball? What do you oh. think? I'm good about yes. the Powerball. Powerball in every game. I mean, it's definitely. Oh, oh. oh. Uh -huh. and there's the power. Happens when you're too do you think a steel? Yeah. Do you think a steel ball would have rolled up that lane? It would have. Probably. <laughs> it would have went faster. <laughs> it would have went faster. I think if you had nudged enough with the light power ball, it's you could have saved. It. Yeah, you might have been able to like, kind of like. It hit, actually hit seems the like machine, the. Uh, but it's tilting rather easily. Yeah. It seems like the the power ball bounces off those metal inlane dividers a little differently. Yeah, it seems like it's harder to judge. I mean, I, I'm terrible at judging the silver ball. Oh! oh. Took the lead on the dragons, though. Yeah. Took the lead on dragons, that's right. But realize you're playing against Priyanka, so she's going to come down and dragon. Bow. Come on, Priyanka. Yeah, get him. All right, how many are you going to knock down for us? <laughs> as many as I can get. As that long as I survive. I've had, like... Backspin and yeah, you've hit two and you've drained and then you've had an in lane drain on you. It's definitely trying to get you to uh, not play in the next round, but uh, prove it wrong. Oh, oh nice. Oh, oh that backspin on that one. backhand nice. to the right dragon. Wow. She now takes the lead on dragons. Oh, oh she's building. Can that she get lead? the three oh. and five split? Is that a tilt? Oh. Nope, I did not no, tell. She got the wow. points. You made me nervous. I was, was nervous, a, too. Was I was on the too. edge of my seat. I almost fell off. All right, she's got eight. Nick, or Petey's up. Player well, two. I can't catch Priyanka, so I guess I should just go for points. And besides, oh, you in folklore, Pete had Priyanka. a dragon, so I shouldn't want to hurt him. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, you, he's wow. got two pop-uppers lit for major points. Uh, he's, oh, he's uh, hitting pops, hitting drop, oh. and he... He's really good at missing yeah, the flippy button. Just, <laughs> just throws his hands down and walks yeah. away. <laughs> Bow. 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 
All right, next up's up. He's got three. He's tied for third place or last place, if you want to look at it like that. Oh, I thought that was a very, very skillful catch. There's another one. Right. Oh, there's two. Ooh. Nice save. Don't forget, this this mechanic. Mechanic. Oh, he, he can wow. play pinball, folks. Pops, pops, pops. He's got all pops lit. And he's got two dragons. Oh, oh, see the the bounce heck, off of the the metal there with the power ball is is very yeah. intense. But he scored a lot of points. He scored a lot of dragons. He's now up to six right. dragons. All right, James steps up. He's currently tied for second place on dragons. Starts off with a lit pop bumper. Wow. Ooh, that was oh that was nice. It's gone. Oh, it's gone. He tilted. I didn't he tilted. get one dragon. Uh, he, he gets one dragon. Did you get a dragon? I did hit a dragon. I don't uh, believe uh -huh. you. He did tilt, yes. Maybe. He did not get any bonus. Press the flippers. We might, are we going to have to... Okay, you're fine. All right. Don't be rude to my dragons. You're the one bashing them with a powerball. Doesn't mean I don't like them. That's true. Yeah, oh, oh. oh, look at that. Risky. Oh. What the heck? I know, this is kind of mesmerizing. Amazing. Yes. Amazing yes. dragon play, except for the scoring of points. Priyanka. <laughs> yes. I didn't Priyanka the dragon slayer. Friends with Buffy. Good stuff. All right, Pete steps up. He's currently in last place with three dragons. But he's currently in first place. I don't think I've done anything wrong this game. Thousand points. Except for put your hands down and walk away. Well, <laughs> there, I flipped that time. <laughs> Which he immediately does again. He's so good at that. <laughs> it's like he can see the future. Just enough of it. Just, a, just <laughs> enough of it. All right, Nick now has five six. Dragons. Five dragons. Oh, let's see it. Come on. If he gets five. Oh. oh. Notice oh. how he didn't walk away before the ball drained? Or. <laughs> or hit a dragon. <laughs> and, he's, and, and he's just <laughs> and gone. He's out. He's, he's out. just gone. <laughs> All right, James. You are four dragons behind first place. Well, and so, you are since I decide, the, you know, as the producer, you are <laughs> I could go for score seven, instead. 70,000 <laughs> points behind first place. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the power of the desk. The power. Well, it's not scoring you any extra dragon, so. Uh -huh. oh, one. Count them, folks. Oh. Oh. This game sucks. Clack, no. clack. <laughs> boom, okay. boom. Dragon winner. Dragon winner. All right, now what? She tied the dragons. <laughs> are, are we are we going to roll with one more? I kind of want to slay some more dragons. One more. One more? All right. Can I, can I get involved in this one? Priyanka, you're Priyanka staying and P is staying. Um, uh, I'm in. Jake, uh, Jake is going to join. I'm in. Uh, I'm Colin, in. are you interested? I would love to join. All right, let's do this. Redemption. Unfortunately, that means we'll only have one person in the broadcaster booth, but Petey right, is I fantastic at rolling this. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. How, how many people in this one? Four. Four. Nick says he's in. <laughs> Nick is not in. Thank you for joining us tonight. This is the kind of fun that uh, we like having every Tuesday night. Uh, check us out on Twitch or on YouTube and tell your friends. So we got Priyanka, Chris, ah! Jake, and Colin. Zero dragons. Zero Tough ball dragons. for Priyanka. Rob and Kay in the I'm chat saying dragons. this I'm one not, seems kind of hard, and it really is. Uh, with the way the dragons are in the middle of the play field, it's so easy to have the ball just feed off the back of it and go right down the middle. If you play too controlled, you can have the ball go up into the uh, lanes there. Done. The uh, gap in the middle is a lot larger than you think it is. You know what this game needs? Lightning flippers. No, please no. What this game needs? It has star flippers. That should be enough. Okay, so we got a split flipper team. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're playing as well as Nick. <laughs> <laughs> he exited through the curtains. Well, that was the, that was the double-headed dragon, and uh, <laughs> they knocked heads and drained. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see. 
<laughs> you really don't want to plunge the two and the four. It is so dangerous. And yeah, we look at our scoreboard. We have Chris with one. <laughs> Second inning, brought to you by Dragon Slayers. And this is a nice ball for Priyanka. It didn't bow, but it counts because it's down. That's three. Three dragons, 200,000 points, much better second ball. Now Chris went from the lead to way behind. Good plunge there to the five. Wow. <laughs> Blink and it's gone. I didn't even see that. It was so fast. All right. The There's only one awesome. ball in the game. It's a five ball game. The split flipper team is up. No! <laughs> I think they willed that one back to the flippers. Jake comforted Nick. <laughs> it was beautiful. Ooh, look at this, the, this passing. <laughs> Two dragons to go. Nice. They're taking the straight 5,000. <laughs> just, just oh, hit. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it won't move. Yeah. On that side, it will not come back. <laughs> How many dragons is that? They got three. Wow. Tie it up with you now. Two, Colin two has zero dragons and one house ball. All right, he's on the board. Sometimes it just takes getting that first. Oh. <laughs> no. Don't tilt me. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to <laughs> hate to have to make a rolling yeah. this time of night. So in Game of Thrones, who were the Dragon Slayers? We have a whole house of them here on this game. I've never watched the show, so I can spoil anything. Priyanka has four. Can she get the fifth? She has it. Special lit right in the middle. Great ball. There was one right. papa where they had a uh, side tournament on that. Uh, it was how many dragons that you could get, and I think the winner was 20. That was fun. Chris getting control. Hey, we have our first trap of the night. <laughs> Maybe second, but... It is definitely a trap. So what, now that you have the ball on the flipper, what are you going to do? Dragons! Ah. Ooh, three more, though. I almost, <laughs> I almost got the double. Bow. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. All right. Are two heads better than one? We will see. Man, no. it all down the machine. <laughs> 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 they both could have been, been like me and just walk away from that one. <laughs> yeah, but Petey, when you do it, it's just your face. It's like you're just defeated, and I'm like, no, Petey. <laughs> Don't let the game treat you like that. That's how I feel whenever I like. Yeah. Look you at know, this. whenever you get the uh, lose the ball at Paragon. Yep. All that's left is the middle head. And uh, got him. Going for the no. Oh. We got some good dragon shooters this game. Well, except for Jake and Nick. Starting to get dialed in on these dragons. This could be a good point ball too with two pop bumpers lit. Whoa! Uh, rough feed out of the pops, but almost to five hundred thousand. Okay. Oh boy! Alrighty. Now Chris. 
down by six dragons, down by 300,000 points. Let me just plunge the two. You did. I think he wanted you, too much control. Yeah, I'm not sure that what happened. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Definitely meant to laugh. I believe in you. Try that again. Oh, huh. Jake's the only one who can hear us. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably for the better. Jake, don't mess it up. Jake, don't let Nick mess it up. Get that dragon. Oh, crush dragon. it. Oh, this is a good point, Paul. Oh, no, oh, no. no. <laughs> oh. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Colin down by 320,000. Four dragons. And it's going to stay that way. All right. The one ball to roll them all. That's the best way to do it. Sweep. No, thank you. But yes, when you're playing dragon, the most important thing, plunge the one, three, or five. Two and four are just so dangerous. Five dragons. Count them. I'm not exactly sure what you're asking, Jared Cole, dude. There we go. Uh, do we have a hotel? Um, uh, where we're playing at is uh, local for all of us and the broadcast. Now, if you're asking if there are hotels right. available for Baby the Replay points. FX show, yes, there are. Um, uh, before you step away, um, Jake, let everyone see your shirt. Oh, some dragon action. This is good. Oh, some no, no more dragons. All right. that feels. So this is so the uh, this is the Papa TV uh, backer jersey or shirt. Yeah, it was a It was the when when Papa TV did their uh, GoFundMe. All of the uh, fundraising way back when they got uh, people those shirts. This is what you got this from it now. Game. So if you were a backer, your money was well spent. Right. You were a bow. Bow. Take a bow. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. All right. And now we have Colin up. Down by four dragons. Down by a ton of points. No I think he. I think he's determined to get some dragons. Well, I mean, you got six. I, I mean, was that's still a pretty good game. I was determined for last place on both dragons and score, so I got it. Well done. You're always winning, Chris. Uh, always I'm winning. Nailing it. Even winning uh, and losing. <laughs> no. no. He gets to eight. It's good enough for second place. Fantastic. Not good enough for points, though. Oh, man. Well, we played some uh, some Game of Thrones and some Interflipid Dragon for a, a very, very <laughs> exciting night. I want to thank everyone for joining us tonight in the YouTube and Twitch channels. It's great that you spend, you choose to spend your time with us. Next week, it's Indiana Jones, Williams, and Pharaoh, a nice two-level uh, solid state game. Uh, thank you to Chris Priyanka for helping in the booth. Thank you to James for all his hard work and the scoreboard on the fly. Thank you to Jake and Colin for their play, and thank you to Nick for providing us with a Powerball. Oh, yes. And <laughs> thank you for all watching. We'll talk to you next week. Keep flipping.